Today, I'm going to give a demonstration of the MySQL database service with the analytics engine. So this is the dashboard for OCI. And from here, uh, we can go and pick the MySQL database service. And from this menu, we have the choice of either creating a new MySQL database service instance or choose an existing one. We will choose an existing uh, instance uh, for the purposes of this demo. So when we click on this instance, it shows up the various properties associated with this MySQL database service instance. And one of the choices is for us to add an analytic cluster. So we go ahead and we add the analytic cluster. And here we have a choice. Either we can specify the number of nodes we would like to add to this instance, or there's an alternative way where we can do an estimation. The system does a machine learning based prediction of the number of nodes that will be required given the size of the tables. So we can use one of these two choices. And once uh, we have uh, uh, plugged that in, then we add the option to add these uh, two nodes. This process takes um, a little while, like um, a few minutes, to provision the nodes and to attach these nodes to the instance uh, which we talked about. So now we have these two nodes which have been provisioned and they have now been attached to the MySQL uh, database service instance. We can now attach to this instance using any client. In this case, we'll start off with the MySQL shell. And to start off with, uh, we see that there are multiple databases in this instance. We will use the TPCH uh, database. And uh, we look at the tables which are associated in this database. And for one of them, uh, we will look at the table definition. Now, the first step a customer needs to do is to load the data from InnoDB into the analytics engine. So this is a process which is automated, but can also be done manually by the user. So if the user wants, they can specify which tables they would like to load manually, or they can automate saying that we want to load all the tables associated in a given database. Once this step is done, we can go and query the performance schema, and the performance schema would show that uh, this table um, nation's table along with other tables has been loaded into the memory of the analytic engine. Once this happens, now we are good to go in terms of running the queries. So I have my uh, display set up so that the upper part of the screen shows, uh, 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 shows the analytic engine being used, whereas the lower part of the screen is when the queries are being executed against the same database, but here we have turned off the analytic engine. So if we run the explain plan, we see that the explain plan in the upper screen is using the analytic engine because it has this uh, keyword says using secondary engine rapid. So this is a cue that the analytic engine is being used. If we run the explain plan um, on the lower screen, we will see that it will not have the secondary um, engine keyword, which shows that it is using the default, namely the InnoDB execution engine. So with that set up, now let's run a query. This is um, a TPCH query. It's a fairly simple query. It has like a few filter predicates and we see that the query completed in about 0 0.028 seconds with the analytic engine. The size of this specific database is about 10 gigs and the amount of improvement a query would get depends upon the size of the data and the complexity of the query. So this is representative of the kind of improvement you would see. So in this case, we see that uh, with the MySQL database, it took 22.5 seconds. And with the analytic engine enabled, it took about 0 0.028 seconds, which represents a speed up of about 800 times. So next, let's turn on to uh, a query, which is a little more interesting. In addition to having filters, it also has a join uh, a predicate. It has a, a group by followed by an order by clause. So when we execute this query, we see it took about 0 0.068 seconds with the analytic engine en enabled. And we have fired up the query with the MySQL database as well. Now, one of the very important points to note is that the queries do not need to be altered when you turn uh, uh, for the analytic engine to be kicked in, right? So the same queries work as is. And that's why all existing tools and applications which work with MySQL will continue to work with the MySQL database service with the analytic engine uh, enabled. So in this case, the query with the MySQL database took about 30.7 seconds in contrast to about 0 0.068 seconds with the analytics engine. And this represents a speed up of about 
450 times. So the amount of improvement uh, uh, application would get depends upon the size of the data and the specific query. But needless to say, the customers will typically see hundreds of times improvement in the query performance if they have only queries or uh, complex queries.